you watch 100 mile drive and today i have one of the best blended bmw you can buy today and that is a 2023 bmw 540i with legendary b58 engine that has inline six cylinder with 335 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque and this car drives unlike anything in bmw's lineup from two series three series uh, four series seven and eight and how exactly does it drive? Well, find out in this dynamic drive review. So here's the first cool thing about this car. I officially EPA rated this car for a fuel efficiency as 25 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon in the highway. Now its counterpart, like a 530i, has the same 25 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon in the highway, only one MPG better on the highway. How cool is that for a car that can do zero to 16, 4.9 seconds. And on our recent trip, we went from LA to Orange County, about 120 miles on the round trip we got as high as 37 miles to the gallon in eco pro mode and when we finished the round trip we ended up with like 34 miles per gallon how cool is that and if you watch 100 mile draft for the first time well this is the channel where i say before you buy a car sign that contract make sure to rent that car for at least a day and drive it for at least 50 to 100 miles on city streets highway and twisty roads to be able to answer the biggest question i'm answering on this channel how does it feel to drive now i wasn't planning to make a video about this car but rather what happened is we gave our x3 m40i for a sunroof rattle repair and they gave us this car at bob smith bmw we drove it for a few days and i liked it so much that i decided to make this video for you and now a quick walk around of this 540i now i kind of like how this front bumper looks this has a shadow line package and an m sport trim so it kind of looks a little bit more aggressive uh, also this car looks classy we already saw the i5 and we kind of know what route this car is gonna follow now whether you like it or not also this car came with the 20 inch wheels uh, these are uh, bigger wheels with the red calipers and if you want to know what the tire sizes are front has 245 35 r20 and the rear has 275 uh, 30 r20 so it's kind of low profile uh, wheels on this but i definitely recommend this m sport trim because in my opinion it makes the car looks a bit better now 5 series was never an exciting car in the first place but at least adding some little you know things to it like this lip spoiler the black uh, accents on the rear bumper makes this car a bit more distinctive from the regular 5 series what they call is an executive sedan now have a listen at this door sound check i think this is another coolest thing about this 5 series this door sounds not even the rear door i mean probably have to hear this in person but it's pretty heavy door and it sounds absolutely amazing now let's get on the inside all right now getting on the inside the first thing i want to show you is this door look at this door how stylish and cool it looks i definitely like the looks of this door now overall on the inside i'm gonna go ahead and start the car push the start button uh it this car has been around since 2021 so this is a typical bmw what it looks like uh, i still like the distinction of this screen and this i know all this is going away in the future this is a, a typical m sport steering wheel which is you know thick uh has a good grip uh some ladies complain about this but for guys you know i love it i really love this am sport steering wheel now another thing i wanted to show you i mean first of all this color looks fantastic and these seats i believe are sense of thin very similar to x5 with this uh, you know quilted or whatever you call these diamond uh, but they are pretty comfortable and I like them. They definitely look much better than my Sense Attack in X3 M40i. Overall quality is really good. I mean, nothing cricks. Everything is super nicely molded. I uh, already spent a uh, good four days in this car and I haven't had any complaints about the interior quality. Uh, this is a good material. They're not super high end. Of course, you have some plastic parts as well but everything like i said nicely molded so everything speaks quality here and i think it will you know stay pretty solid uh, as years go by all right now let's go ahead and drive it and first i'm gonna drive bmw 540i in the city i'm gonna put the car in a sport mode uh sport plus just to do a few lunches and discuss the acceleration of this car 
drive i'm gonna leave the screen out for you for sport setting here all right let's go all right so one thing interesting about the five series versus let's say three series or four series is that this car uh, has the older 335 uh, b58 engine it's funny to say that it's already old uh, but nevertheless all the new uh, platforms of 3 4 series already got the latest uh, even including my x3 m40i which been there since 2021 uh, already have the 382 horsepower all right let's launch this from here all right let's go this is a rear wheel drive model We've got some e-boost from the mile hybrid i don't think it really does anything from what i heard but it's supposed to assist a little bit the engine so overall this car is uh fairly quick okay it's plenty quick uh for what you need this car for the official zero to 60 is uh 4.9 seconds a lot of magazines uh, like car and driver launched at 4.7 seconds so this car is fast enough uh, let's do one more launch from the stop all right nothing crazy and there you go now one thing i must say that i'm gonna put it back in comfort mode that uh, this car doesn't feel aggressively fast uh, like let's say my x3 m40i feels a lot faster it's a 4.4 seconds and it feels much faster than this 5 series uh, but i think it's more than adequate for this car and considering the fuel efficiency that this car has and like i mentioned we got 37 miles uh, to the gallon on our uh, road trip as the highest uh, fuel efficiency but then driving in the city back then uh, overall we got 34 miles to the gallon and still being able to do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds i mean to me that is incredible and i definitely like that now the biggest thing that where i said this car is very well blended and it's probably you know one of the best bmws uh, um, you can have as a daily driver is for its suspension i really want to talk about suspension immediately this car despite being m sport despite having run flat tires uh and you know these low profile tires it feels super comfortable like if you put me in this car and then you know don't tell me anything about the this you know that it's an m sport trim adaptive suspension i won't even tell that this has run flats i won't even tell that this has low profiles unless until i hit some potholes uh, or bigger bumps then i'll be able to tell but overall it rides so comfortably on LA roads are really bad you know we have like really crappy roads and driving this car for now four days or well, pretty much five days it was just the, it's just nice I mean it's very comfortable um, whenever you need to have fun with it it has plenty of power and I'm going to take it on a canyon roads to show you how fun it is also on the canyon roads the only thing I would probably do different uh, is get the X drive if I could I get the X drive because I noticed that there are here and there some slips uh, when you launch this car or let's say you do a quick like, turn in and then you accelerate you get here and there some slips so I think X drive would be a really good addition also once these tires wear out uh, then you will also get more slips uh, so all wheel drive will compensate for a lot of these things also maybe I would get this car on the 19 inch wheels then it'll be a little bit more comfortable. I think these wheels suit better, maybe three series. They suit, uh, I'm not talking about M5 and all that. I'm talking about the regular cars. Uh, they suit maybe better uh, four series, uh, but here, since this car is set up more for comfort, I would get a bit more comfortable wheels, but I definitely would stay with the M Sport trim. Uh, that's totally, uh, you know, uh, worth it to get the M Sport because it simply looks better. Uh, another complaint I have is the exhaust notes now while it sounds okay um, but I definitely want to hear more pops or some type of uh, burps this car doesn't have any burps even in Sport Plus it doesn't do anything uh, my X3 M40i has burps in comfort mode uh, when you launch it aggressively 
uh, and it sounds so much more mature I mean it's just completely different level in terms of the exhaust notes I understand this is an executive sedan I understand it's tuned more for comfort but I feel like at least in sport plus mode give me you know better sounding car and I can tell you they can definitely do it they do it through speakers they you know they tune things uh, in, in X3M 40i when you put Sport Plus there's a little valve opens uh, all these things they can do in this car as well certainly it's lacking a little bit of that which would, which would add uh, more to enjoyment of this car now let me go ahead and drive it on the bumpy road just to kind of touch base more on the uh, suspension ride the quality ride of this car all right and now driving it on a Tampa Avenue beat up road now this is what impresses me the most about this 5 series uh, 540i how well it soaks these bumps these imperfections on the road the minor imperfections it just erases completely you won't even probably you won't even notice probably but the bigger imperfections the uh, potholes it just very nicely ducks and then very nicely glides over them uh, you know you're driving over you know imperfections but it just feels nice it feels nice in this car and I totally like it now where you're not gonna like it is when you hit bigger potholes because of these low profile tires uh, and these wheels being more fragile I would say you're gonna feel it immediately there'll be this loud pop like kind of uh, and, and that definitely doesn't feel pleasant now I know like my cousin who had a 7 series he when it was raining in California he had to repair his uh, wheels a few times, forget about repair, replace them and it cost him uh, on a 7 series uh, around $2,000. So when you have low profile tires like these, uh, definitely you become like a scanner on the road. You start screening the road, you're going to try to avoid potholes. So in a car like this, I think it's a little excessive. I would highly recommend getting um, 19 inch uh, wheels with little thicker tires so you don't have to worry about this and now I'm driving in my local neighborhood just going you know different streets and just trying to see what is it like to drive this car uh, you know on your day-to-day -day, uh, running the errands and like I said this car is very well suited to no matter what you do whether you're gonna you know go running the errands whether you're gonna enjoy a long trip uh, which I'm gonna discuss on the highway or you're gonna take it to twisty roads and this is what's amazing this car it just glides over the you know the humps on the road the steering let's talk about the steering uh, the steering in this car is weighted kind of in the middle and I notice whether you're in an eco pro comfort sport nothing changes that much at least it's not that noticeable uh, but it's not heavy it's not light it's literally in the middle and it's weighted uh, you can adjust the feedback levels uh, of the steering, uh, how much vibration you want to get in your steering. But overall, it's you know it's what the modern steering is. Uh, it it's not super direct, quick. Uh, it, it's just everything is like medium kind of. Everything is medium. Uh, it's good for the CD. Uh, we'll discuss the steering on the Canyon Roads more. Uh, but overall, I noticed uh, it's not like a Tesla kind of you know quick steering. Um, but it's just adequate for what this car is all about whatever this car is tuned for the steering is just does the good job uh, the brakes on this car this has M Sport brakes so bigger brakes obviously that's one thing about BMWs they inspire confidence in driving and brakes are really really good I mean whether you're gonna brake fast or you're gonna gradually brake the brake pedal is fairly soft uh, and it gradually breaks um, and even if you brake quick the car responds really nice love M Sport brakes I think they're doing a good job one thing I noticed though um, sometimes I don't know is that either dust or sand something gets probably in those brake pads and I get at the low speed this squeaking noise a little bit uh, but then it goes away so I'm not sure what that is all about but it's certainly not affecting any uh, you know uh, capabilities of car, this car to brake or I don't get any jitters or anything I mean this car only has 5,000 miles I mean it's a brand new car so uh, overall it's very easy very pleasant uh, to drive this car doing your day-to-day -day tasks whatever it is uh, commuting I'm just enjoying I'm enjoying spending time in this car I think when I go back to my x3 m40i 
I'm gonna find that car a, a lot more, um, you know, bumpy. Uh, on the other hand, I'm missing that car for the reason that it's, uh, you know, more aggressive, it's, you know, faster, it's louder, it's like more drama is there. All right, now let me go ahead and drive it on the highway. All right, merging the highway here. I'm still in a comfort mode. And while this car, like when you turn in, there's a little body roll, uh, body lean in this car, but then it still does everything very confidently. Merging the highway. And man, this car has good punching power, very adequate. Sometimes I think like, does it need to have more power for what it is? And maybe not, maybe this is enough, maybe this is adequate. But then I think you could have it you know a little more power i mean we always want more power right all right so driving on a highway again very well balanced uh very comfortable this car is very well cushioned despite like as i'm gonna keep repeating this uh these low profile tires you can just cruise along um if you're gonna do a lot of long distance driving make sure you get driving assistant pro package because most bmw don't have it that way you have adaptive cruise control and some steering assist. Um, otherwise, this car is just perfect. Now let's measure the sound insulation in this cabin. And overall, this cabin is fairly nicely insulated, just like most BMWs. Uh, it's very quiet in here. Uh, now I'm kind of driving around traffic times. Um, let's see what it looks like. I'm slow. I'm driving. And to be honest with you, it's a very good sound station here. It's about 63, I would say. 63 is really good. Uh, I mean, it is quiet. You don't hear much noise. You don't hear any noise from tires. Uh, very little, like a background tire noise maybe, but nothing excessive. Here and there, of course, when cars passing by, you can hear them. But overall, it's pretty quiet. I mean, uh, I think it's pretty much kind of like seven series, I would say. The other part of the test I'd like to do is, can you overtake cars on the road? And obviously not a problem for this car. Um, it has a lot of punching power. I mean, for B58 engine, it's literally not a problem. So yes, to answer that question, yes, it has a lot of mid-range, upper end power. I think that test is more relevant for uh, like a four cylinders or hybrids, but not for a car like, car like this. Yeah, you have to really watch your speed on driving this car. Uh, like I said, it's not as maybe engaging as the 340i, because uh, that has definitely a firmer suspension, but this is such a good blend where you can enjoy both, uh, uh, what is it, you enjoy both, both worlds, right? the world of sportiness like when it's sporty and the world of comfort when it's just just nice to chill here in this car and uh, you start appreciating these things maybe at the uh, after 30 um, where you kind of want the car that can do everything uh, and that's where cars like this uh, I think pretty good overall so now let me go ahead and drive it on the twisty roads and we can discuss its performance and the time has come driving BMW 540i on the Canyon Rose. Let's go. I have my sport display. I have a sport plus transmission. All right, let's go. Let me take a couple of corners and then we'll start discussing it. Not going super fast, but just kind of, you know, just to understand how this chassis is, the brakes, transmission, engine, everything put a little bit to the stress. Now, one thing in the Canyon Roads, uh, immediately in Sport Plus, the transmission shifts in the lower gears and is trying to maintain these higher RPMs. So, let's talk about suspension, the first and the most important thing, right? This car being on the comfortable side, obviously you do see a roll, kind of like a little bit of a body roll side to side, but nevertheless, it stays very planted. And these 275 tires in the rear, really keeping this car in place pretty well. Um, it doesn't sleep as much, like you're gonna have to take it at the much higher speed than I can to actually have the car start slipping. Uh, otherwise, it's very well planted. I mean, transmission 
I mean, suspension does a fantastic job of rolling a little bit, like leaning a little bit to the side, but then keeping the car stable through the corners. The engine is fantastic, of course, here. I mean, it has plenty of power with transmission in the lower gear. I mean, you have power anytime you need. Uh, brakes also work pretty well. Um, it has a great stopping power. Yep, N uh, no vibrations, it just stays really well. So BMW chassis is just fantastic. I mean, uh, even if I start throwing it around more aggressively, the car will just slide, but it'll stay stable. I mean, this car I pretty much drove on the BMW driving event uh, on, uh, you know, they do like a cross, cross, what is it, cross track driving? Where you go around the cones and stuff and damn, this car did really well i mean the instructor was a little mad at me because i kind of took it a little faster than i should have uh, but then still this car just held up really well and it's doing exactly the same thing so this is just a quick demo here nothing crazy to show you that this 5 series is very well balanced and it's a good blend for someone who's looking for a daily driver uh, and then you know once in a while you want to have fun like this uh, drive it on a twisty roads and it's absolutely capable with good brakes wide enough tires and really good suspension and I mean it's just incredible all right I'm pretty pleased uh, to say that just having fun with this car and we've had it for four days we took it on a long trip you know we took it to you know obviously driving in a CD I took it a few times just uh, enjoying on the twisty roads uh, and all these terrains uh, all the tasks it just did pretty well um, so this is what it is and let me go ahead and summarize and i finally completed dynamic drive of this bmw 540i i must say i truly enjoyed this car every bit of it i love driving it in the city doing my day-to-day -day stuff it was a nice to cruise uh, on a highway we took it on you know longer trips and you can have fun with this car in a twisty road so this car does everything pretty well so if you are shopping for a sedan a luxury sedan which is has both sport and comfort then this is the car to get it's very well blended my only problem is the pricing on this car this particular car has a shadow lion package m sport package with 20 inch wheels and executive package and you're looking somewhere north of seventy thousand dollars i think it's a little bit too much for a five series but nevertheless if you like it, you can totally consider it so what is my final field score well my final field field score is eight out of ten um, like I said, I truly like this car. I think it could do things a little bit better and this is probably something we're gonna see in the next gen of the 5 Series. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and talk to you later.